Ukraine may use Taurus missiles against Russia, Germany's position is changing. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is no longer so categorical about providing Ukraine with long-range Taurus missiles, according to the Voice of America. During his speech to the German government, Scholz once again commented on the possibility of transferring Taurus to Ukraine. According to the German Chancellor, he is responsible for ensuring that every child born in Germany today does not experience war in their country. He added that Germany should consult with its allies before making any decisions on Taurus. We will act prudently. We are carefully weighing all the risks. I support this as a Chancellor committed to the peace and security of Germany, Scholz said. Earlier, the German Chancellor repeatedly rejected the possibility of transferring long-range Taurus missiles to Ukraine. In March, Scholz emphasized that such supplies were out of the question. The head of the German government explained this by claiming that the deployment of the missiles supposedly requires German soldiers to be present in Ukraine. He also expressed concern that Taurus could be used to attack Moscow if used incorrectly. Taurus is a joint German-Swedish made cruise missile that can travel up to over 500 kilometers, outmatching the capabilities of other Western long-range systems that Ukraine has in service. The British Storm Shadow missiles, along with the French equivalent, the Scalp missiles, have a range of up to 250 kilometers. With this advantage, Taurus would help Ukraine hit more targets in the occupied territories and, in theory, could also reach deep into Russia. Once launched, the long-range missile flies at an altitude of 35 meters which makes it difficult for radars to detect and helps bypass defense systems. Taurus missiles were designed to hit buried and protected targets, including command posts and bridges. Potentially, the Kirsch Bridge, which is a critical support and transport route for Russian forces to occupied Crimea and other occupied territories, could become one of them. Russia's war against Ukraine also threatens Moldova, Georgia, NATO states, German Defense Ministry. According to the chief of the German Defense Ministry, Boris Pistorius, Russia's aggression currently threatens not only Ukraine, but also Moldova, Georgia, and all NATO countries. Six months ago, I first spoke about military potential. It was important to me that we pay attention to the value of security in general and take seriously the realities of the new security policy. Russia's brutal war against Ukraine, which violates international law, is an attack on our peace in Europe and around the world, notes the head of the German Defense Ministry. Pistorius emphasized that the criminal war unleashed by Russia against Ukraine is an attack on international order and freedom as Kremlin dictator Vladimir Putin refuses to recognize the sovereignty of Russia's neighboring states. When I visited Odessa last week, the war was everywhere. Destroyed houses, Monuments covered with sandbags, a missile alert, seriously wounded soldiers in the hospital with whom I managed to talk. For Putin, these human destinies do not matter. He started a war and it will not stop. Airstrikes against Ukraine, in particular against civilian objects, have intensified again, the chief of the German Defense Ministry emphasized. He warned that Russia has long since transferred its economy to military lines and continues to produce a large number of weapons. Therefore, Pistorius emphasized that Western countries should not expect the Kremlin to stop its aggression outside Ukraine. 
After all, Russia also poses a threat to Georgia, Moldova and ultimately NATO. This is why we must continue to support Ukraine, ladies and gentlemen. The termination of our support will have fatal consequences in particular, but not only for Ukrainian air defense, stressed the head of the German Defense Ministry. He mentioned Germany's transfer of the third Patriot air defense system to Ukraine and the immediate air defense actions initiative, which made a significant contribution.